வணக்கம் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் டென் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கிட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் செடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் எடிஷன் ஓகே இன் திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் வி ஆர் ஆஸ்க் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் ஐ நாட் ஓகே see here first we will mark the nodes so this is node number 1 this is node 2 and this is node 3 and this is your ground node or the reference node with the zero potential and we are going to use nodal analysis so for that we will mark some more details the currents we assume that current i1 is flowing in this direction from node 1 to node 3 and i have taken this 4 amperes as i4 current and this one is i not current which is flowing towards this 8 ohms then the i2 current is flowing through this 2 ohm resistance from the second node to the ground node and this 2 i not this is the dependent current source right and that is taken as i5 current which is flowing from second node to third node and from third node to ground potential we have this i3 current okay so with this details we'll proceed for the so i am going to apply kcl at node 1 so what is kcl kirchhoff's current law it states that summation of entering currents in a particular node is equal to summation of leaving currents isn't it so if we consider node 1 here it is which is at a potential v1 what are the currents which are entering and what are the currents which are leaving there is no current entering so that is equal to zero the currents which are leaving are i not plus i1 and this i4 these three currents are leaving okay so we can apply ohms law for this i not i1 i4 so i not is using ohms law it can be written as v1 minus zero potential divided by the 8 ohms okay plus what is i1 i1 is this is at v1 potential minus v3 potential divided by 1 ohm because it is going from here to here right then plus the i4 i4 is the 4 amperes current source so this this one is our i4 which is flowing from v1 to v2 as the current value is available we can put it as such okay so it is 4 amps that is equal to 0 okay so if we take the common denominator for this denominator value is 8 so it is v1 plus 8 times v1 minus v3 so i can make it as 8 v1 minus 8 v3 that is equal to minus 4 9 v1 minus 8 v3 that is equal to when you cross multiply this we get this as minus 32 okay so this is our first equation so applying kcl at node 2 so here what are the currents which are entering the i4 is entering and this i2 and i5 are leaving so i4 is nothing but that 4 amps current so if current is available as it we can write it and this i2 we don't know so we can apply ohms law for that so it is v2 minus 0 divided by the resistance 2 ohms the i5 is available as it so it is 2 i not but it is a dependent current source so we should know what is i not here right so i not is nothing but that v1 potential divided by 8 4 is equal to v2 divided by 2 plus instead of this i not i am going to substitute this v1 by 8 isn't it so it is v1 by 8 so cancel it out so it is 4 so if you take the common denominator here so it is 4 So it is two times v two plus v one. Okay. Well, you can cross multiply this four with this four already existing. So we get this as two v two plus v one. That is equal to sixteen. So this is our second equation. 
So now we can apply KCL at node 3. So at node 3, what are the currents which are entering? This I1 is entering. Similarly, I5 is entering, but I3 is leaving. So it is I1 plus I5 that is equal to I3. So I1 can be written as as earlier we have done V1 minus V3 divided by that one ohm resistance plus I5 current is 2 I0 that is equal to I3. I3 is V3 minus 0 divided by that 4 ohm resistance. V1 minus V3 plus 2 times I0. I0 can be written as V1 by 8 ohms. Right. We have already done it. So V3 by 4. I answer this out. This becomes 4. And if I take the common denominator here, 4, right? So it is 4v1 minus 4v3 plus v1 that is equal to v3 by 4. So we can cancel out this 4 and 4. Now we get this as 5v1 minus 4v3 minus v3 that is equal to 0. Or I can say that it is 5v1 minus 5v3 that is equal to 0. This is our third equation, equation number 3. So we get this 5v1 is equal to 5v3 that means v1 is equal to v3. So this can be substituted in our first equation. So, so this is our first equation. And in this, we can substitute V1 as equal to V3 from third equation. So, I can write this as 9V1 minus 8V1 is equal to minus 32. Or, V1 is equal to minus 32 volts. So, if we get V1 as minus 32, V3 is also minus 32 volts. So, we are asked to find out uh, I0 in this problem. So, I0 we know that it is V1 by 8. So, it is minus 32 by 8 that is equal to minus 4 apps. Okay, so this is the answer, required answer for us. I0 is equal to minus 4 apps. What is the meaning of it if you have this minus sign? So it is flowing in the opposite direction. Okay. Thank you.